Today I will show you how to make this crazy hotspots music video transition. Yo, it's Povikas here and welcome guys if you're new to the channel. My name is Povikas, as I just said, and I have 7 plus years of video editing experience and I also run a video editing website which is called povikas.com where I have absolutely insane video editing presets that help me save incredible amounts of time and they're just super easy to use. All you have to do is just drag and drop them. So if you want some really easy to use presets that also look absolutely insane, then I would 100% recommend to go and check out my povikas.com website. But anyways guys, Let's begin. All right, guys, so here I have clips of Osamason from his 3X music video. I just have two clips right now. And now let's go a little bit to the start, maybe right here. Eh, doesn't really matter that much where you go. Press Ctrl to Y to make a new adjustment layer. And here we can cut it by pressing Ctrl Shift D. And now we can start adding some effects. So here, the first effect we can add is exposure. And at the start, I'm just going to do nothing. We will later change the settings of this. And now we can add an effect from the Sapphire plugin, which is called S Hotspots. Now, you do require the Sapphire plugin for this, but but if you don't have the Sapphire plugin, then you can add an effect called levels and just keyframe the histogram, go to the ending and make the input black like really high. So yeah, and then at the ending, uh, make it to zero and then just follow the tutorial along while just thinking that you just use as hotspots. So I'm not going to use levels. I'm going to use as hotspots. I think it's better. And here at the start, I like to make this threshold to zero and I like to keyframe the blur input and threshold to zero. So yeah, these have to be keyframe right now. And the last effect, which is optional by the way you don't need to add this effect it's deep glow 2 or deep glow 1 i just like to have a little bit of glow and here i like to make the radius to 500 and the exposure at the start to zero guess what we made all of these to zero and let's keyframe the exposure at zero and now let's go to the transition point well this is actually the transition point but i'm going to go one frame before it and here i'm going to press u now we will see all of the keyframes we made but here what we're going to do is make the blur input to 5 and the threshold this is pretty much the most important part i'm going to make it to 0 0.5 although you can make it more or less depending on your clip for this clip if i made it more it will look maybe too dark actually that's pretty cool you can keep it like that but let's just make the 0.5 adjust this to your liking and what i also like to do is i like to make the exposure of deep glow 2 to 0.05 yeah so just a little bit of a glow i like to have this glow you can have normal glow and play around with it as well it doesn't really matter i just like this a bit and also another thing i like to do is go one frame before this keyframe the exposure at zero and go one frame after it and make the exposure to somewhere like 10 super high you know just incredibly high <laughs> yeah and now let's go maybe i don't know a couple of frames forward maybe like six frames forward i don't even know like seven frames forward whatever uh, adjust this to your likings and here i like to make the exposure to zero the threshold to zero and the blur input to zero and also guess what deep glow 2 exposure to zero so now this will definitely not look very good trust me this is just not how you want it there's just nothing really here you know it's pretty okay i mean we just didn't do it that much so to make this a bit cooler we can drag both the as hotspots keyframes right here so yeah it will pretty much be like this so that's already cooler but i'm not done here i want to make this smoother so i'm going to select all these as hotspots keyframes press f9 and now go to the press on blur input go to the graph editor and i just like to make this a bit go forward like that and this i like to make go a bit down like that and now let's exit out of it go to the threshold and let's go to the graph editor and here i like to make this go out like this and this one i like to make it go a bit down so now it's going to be a bit more smooth you know like look how smoother that is i like it not gonna lie now you might think okay where is the slow motion here povikas like what happened man didn't you promise us a slow motion well i didn't say anything about slow motion but you might have noticed it in the video so what we can do is on the first clip we can press ctrl alt t go to time remap and just press on it like right there on the keyframe at the first keyframe and go to the ending which is right here for this clip the ending is right here and let's press on it right there and let's go back to this keyframe and put this point right here let's cut it up if you want you know we're just pretty much going to speed it up select all of these keyframes press f9 and guess what go to the graph editor and here i like to make this graph pretty sharp something like this to be fair yeah it has to be pretty sharp something like that but as you can see it, it will start to lag so you need to press on this and this and yeah this will look really really cool now if you start to see these little lines which i don't like to be fair well let's i have a little bit of a trick here this is very useful in my opinion i have to go one frame before 
before it ends press here and just make this one frame less so as you can see this says 20 let's make it to 19 and it will instantly fix this little issue we were having and look at the slow-mo we will be getting with just a second okay that doesn't look maybe the best but just a second yeah it goes like that boom yeah so like that boom instantly to another clip actually we can go to this clip press ctrl t again you know go to the time e map press on the ending as well go to the time e map and let's just drag it right there select everything press f9 you know i'm speeding this press on this 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 go to the graph editor and here i actually like to make this go up to here and this go down there so yeah and this also makes it look a bit more slow mo -y. i don't even know if that's a word you know just more slow down i guess i don't know but also sped up like that is really really cool in my opinion i mean just look how that looks so that is one of the things you need to do here another really cool thing you can do here is add another clip so i have a random clip here from the same music video L look this is just us amazon doing some stupid shit so what we can do is just add s hotspots here and i like to make the threshold uh, maybe like 0.6 here and now what i'm going to do is right click go to blend mode and make it to add so it'll pretty much pop up like that but now let's also add cc vignette and let's make the amount really high you know just so the edges are not seen and here we can press p and maybe position this clip to the left because this was amazon is to the right so let's position this maybe to the left so yeah let's just have him right there you know and we can also press ctrl alt t t and you will see the time e map and yeah we can also go to the ending you know keyframe everything blah 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 you know just do this that you know right click press f9 blah 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 you know do this little uh, graph editor and position this right here so i think that is going to look absolutely insane wait just a second yeah it will look like this which is just insane wait, wait i want to see this actually wait, wait, wait whoa yeah that is really really cool like that boom boom it just kind of comes in bam so yeah uh sure you can make this a bit cooler like make the fade in a bit cooler but honestly that just looks really really cool like that <laughs> i don't even know why that looks so cool and yeah pretty much like the last thing we can add is as you can see it only does an exposure here but we can add some really cool like distortions for example so i have a really cool solution which i use a lot of the time actually this is what i pretty much always do is i just press ctrl y i'll press ctrl shift d you know to cut it and i'm going to go to effects and presets and here i'm going to go to animation presets user presets and i'll go to my impact presets which is a really lovely pack i'm not gonna lie and here i'm just going to select maybe dark color distort and just drag and drop it so yeah if anyone wants a really quick impact effects just like this then you can go and check out the impact presets which will be linked in the description that pack has a bunch of these insane premium impact presets i mean these took a really long time to make and yeah i've been using them in a bunch of my edits and yeah just look how that's going to look crazy yeah that's a really cool variation but you might want a different one so for example you can also add maybe something like extreme ripple but yeah for this preset pack you do need to have the sapphire plugin so really just keep that in mind you know it's a uh, very important to have a sapphire plugin but wow that just gives you crazy look and actually one thing you can also do is you can combine these so for example we can combine this with oh a really creative one would be motion detect impact so let's combine it with this one actually okay wait and let's see that looks crazy wow yeah i mean i love to combine this i have even combined three effects onto one i mean you can do whatever you want i have a tutorial in the presets pack as well so you can check out how to use these presets even better i mean i only showcase three presets right here but as you can see this will give you an incredible impact i mean that is insane and yeah guys for supporting a channel for watching these tutorials i also have a five dollar discount code for the impact presets pack which is going to be code povicas if you use code povicas you will save five dollars off on the impact presets pack but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see you.